All right. Another thing is that for, let's say you have a switch here and a switch here, and you have this link, this link, maybe another link. The thing is for either channels, if you're going to use this one and this one as part of one group, they don't have to be together like this, follow each other. You can say, maybe I want to use only F0 slash three and maybe F0 slash five. And maybe this may be F0 slash one or something. Maybe this is F0 slash two or something. It doesn't have to be directly together, like close to each other. All we're saying is that it's like a box. So you place this one in the box, you place this one in the box and now you've created a new pot. And so they don't have to be close to each other before we can put them or group them together. That's not how it works. It's logical. It's not physical. It's just like the way we had for VLANs where you could put any pot, uh, depending on where they are, we can put this pot or this pot together and then we, we create them in one VLAN. That's the exact thing that you have for ETA channels. So it doesn't have to be together.